This is Govee's Galaxy Light Projector Pro. But is it any good? If you're unfamiliar with the world of Galaxy Star Projectors, these are small devices which aim to create some big ambience by projecting moving light patterns or images over a large surface area in aims of bringing the night sky and other immersive cosmic displays right into your home. Govee's gone a few steps further in their first ever production run for a Galaxy projector by integrating three different projectors in one with not only a disc based projector but have also integrated a laser star projector as well as an LED lamp projector. They've also added a sound machine to complete the experience. All smart home compatible and controllable through the Govee app. So has Govee given us the holy grail of ambience or have they tried to fit too much into this and not focused enough on one thing? Let's dive in. You can see it has a rotating head here, which is nice. These are the buttons at the top, power, rotation, volume up, down, sound machine mode, or play pause. This right here is a spring-loaded disc loading tray. You can see this is where the discs go. You can pop them out and you can put a new one in. Govee includes eight different discs that you can load into the tray and pop back in. It can be powered by USB-C, and of course you can use an external battery bank if you wanted to power it as well. Speakers at the back. There are three different lasers in here that project to give us our moving stars effect. Once you've powered on your projector, you can focus the projection by turning this ring here. It is a focus ring. And the LED projector is this bottom one right here. For those of you new to galaxy-based disc projectors, they're meant to be used in complete darkness. On every disc-based projector I've tested, the effect is greatly reduced or lost completely if you have other ambient light sources. This is even true of the $600 DS1 planetarium projector. So that means shut off all the screens, turn off all the lights, cover your windows or anything putting off light if you plan to use this thing properly. Once you have your disc loaded and lights off projecting your image, you can use that top focus ring to get the center of the image as close to focus as you can. Another note I may add as someone who's tested and used a lot of these disc based projectors is you won't be able to get the image in focus completely. So don't panic. This is to be expected. The projector works by showing a portion of the disc at one time. So as time passes and goes on, the disc rotates to change what you're seeing. As you can see, the projection effect is quite interesting when used under the right conditions and combined with the laser stars. Now, depending on your expectations, if we do start to pixel peep closely, we can see the projected image from the discs, it's not incredibly sharp. However, given most of the discs don't have much going on in the center, I'm led to believe the main thing is to use the laser stars as the primary focus and have the disc projections to be this sort of added touch, the added ambience on the side. This is in opposition to other disc-based galaxy projectors where the disc is the main focus, having rich imagery and stars on the center of the disc. It's an interesting choice to try to bundle a laser star projector together with a disc-based projector. Typically, disc-based projectors aim for more realism when used in darker environments, whereas traditional laser star projectors aim for more of a background ambience in mixed lighting environments. Nevertheless, as a star projector alone, I was quite surprised to see the Govee Galaxy projector excels with its laser star projection method. The number one complaint I hear in the comments with other laser star projectors is that the pattern can look too grid-like or uniform. The Govee Galaxy projector here, on the other hand, overcomes this by doing something I've never seen before with its laser star projection. It casts three different layers of stars, all moving in a different way. This creates an amazing sense of depth, almost like a 3D effect. This solves the issues of past laser projectors, creating a more randomized, abstract,
abstract laser star projection. Very, very groovy, if I must say so myself. So moving on to the LED RGBW lamp projector. So this can output and project some colored light, cycling through different effects, which alone is definitely cool to use and have. I think Govi's intent was to use this mode to pair together with the laser stars as a different option if you don't want to use the disc base projection. However, for me, it's a bit of a missed opportunity as if Govi instead chose to integrate a new take on like an LED nebula pattern like we see with the ever popular Bliss Lights projector where the LED is mimicking a galaxy, then I think we'd have the best of both worlds here with a laser LED projector instead of Govi relying on the discs for their abstract nebula effect. Okay, so really quickly, this is the interface of the Govi app. So this does come with a noise machine to kind of complete the experience. If we click here, you can see all the included sounds that it does come with and boy is it ever a lot. Like the idea is they want you to use this, I guess as a, a night aid or a sleep aid. Deep sea. Starry night. Anyways, it's quite impressive how many different soundtracks there are in the Govi app bundled with this thing. And together with the stars, with the projection, with the sound it makes, it really does all sort of come together to create a unique experience that other galaxy projectors, I'd say, don't do as well as this one. You can also play other music, but I probably would avoid that. It's not the best speaker, that's certainly true, but it's sort of good enough to play these ambient tracks that come bundled with it. So here's the thing. I think Govi's new projector is a largely misunderstood product. It gets a bad rep or review coming from people who are just unfamiliar with planetariums or star projectors. They open it up and try to use all three different projections together, combining them with other ambient lights, and, and the result is just a total mess. However, if you're able to create the right conditions and use it with the sound machine, it's a product worth considering with the added benefit of Govi software and smart app ecosystem experience. If you're in the market for a dedicated home planetarium, it would be great to see a side-by-side -side comparison of all the top available options right now. A video that compares their light output and projection quality in a side-by-side -side showdown. Lucky for you, I've made just that video. So why don't you go ahead and give that a little click-see. Should be popping up on screen somewhere now to see the results of which projector comes out on top worthy of your dollar. As always, links are in the description below and help to support the channel if you're considering buying or checking out the price. This is the Future Space Collective, where we explore the world of products for imagination.